between 1890 and 1910, Art Nouveau rose in reaction to the Industrial Revolution and everything else. It rejected historical reference and was fixated on nature, sensuality, and sex. It took an avant-garde approach to architecture and decor in which it sought to combine art and architecture through highly decorated ornamentation and flowing lines of natural forms. Art Nouveau artists, like avant-gardists, found its voice through experimentation and innovation. Victor Otta was the forerunner of the Art Nouveau movement in Belgium. He took natural forms such as water plants and created them in unnatural ways through welding of metal and staining of glass. Born in Ghent, Belgium in 1861, Victor Otta grew up to be one of the most stylistic and original architects and designers ever. For a brief time, he lived in Paris where he was impressed and inspired by the use of glass and cast iron as structural materials. Otto was extremely meticulous in that he designed everything from the furnishings to the stained glass windows to even the door handles. Each house, Each house should be completely, should be completely designed, designed to suit the to living, suit the living habits, habits of its individual, of its individual inhabitants. inhabitants. The first townhouse that was built by Victor Otto was the Maison Autrique. It was built in 1893 for the engineer Eugene Autrich and his family. Though it has a traditional floor plan and layout, some believe that this structure was the first to exhibit the Art Nouveau style. I personally would consider Hotel Tassel to be the first true Art Nouveau building. It was built for a Belgian scientist named Emile Tassel between 1892 and 1893. The floor plan was extremely innovative and Otto's use of materials and decorations was astounding. Otto designed this building in three different parts. Two parts were rather conventional, built with brick and natural stone on each side of the building. But the third part of the building linked the two other parts with a steel structure covered with glass. This part allowed natural light to illuminate the center of the building. It became the place for receiving guests. Imagine walking into that. Here's a few photos of the famous staircase at the Hotel Tassel. This staircase epitomizes the Art Nouveau style. It displays whimsical movement and sensual curvatures through the use of wavy metals. Also, there is the water vine motif along the wall as you walk up the path. Just magnificent! Hotel Sauvé was built for Amand Sauvé, who was the son of the wealthy Belgian chemist and dushers Ernest Sauvé. This was an exciting project for Otto because with a wealthy client, he could spend a fortune on expensive details and precious materials such as marble, bronze, and tropic woods. And he did. From the carpet to the light fixtures to the tableware and even the doorbell, Otto designed everything. Victor Otto also designed the Maison de Poupel, Burkman University Hospital, Hotel Vandivelt, and of course his home, Maison de Otta. He also designed in other styles, such as the Palace de Beau Arts in the Art Deco style. For sake of time, I will now show you some Art Nouveau influenced furniture and point out a few characteristics. Here's a French Art Nouveau mahogany fireplace mantle. It has carved whiplash lily pad and floor design with shelf and shaped beveled mirror and column sides. This queen size bed frame is French Art Nouveau. It is maple with inset freeform shaped with tigered figured ash panels. Next 
Next, we have a Belgian Art Nouveau carved oak chair. It has floor embossed leather upholstered seat and back. Have it. A few fun facts of Art Nouveau and what came out of it. Thank you so much for your time and many thanks to all the contributors. <laughs>